thanks to a viewer, I uh, learned or was reminded of something that actually I had forgotten about using the HP Prime for this Laplace transform problem. You may recall that I tried to uh, to compute the Laplace transform of 3T in converting this source from the time domain to the Laplace domain and I got an answer but expressed in terms of X. Well, thanks to the viewer, and I'll show you his, his nice uh, comment here in a minute, he reminded me that the the way to do this on the HP Prime, and let me zoom in a little better here so that you can see what I'm doing. The You may recall that we uh, go to the toolbox and then make sure you're in casts and then you select calculus which is 2 and then transform which is 9 and then Laplace which is 1 and what that gives you is the this Laplace uh, entry. Now you can type that in yourself. You don't have to go through the menus like I did. And then we enter, remember the expression we want is 3 T that if after the 3 T you put comma T comma S and then hit enter that you get the correct answer expressed in terms of S. In other words, 3 over S squared, which, as you probably remember from the uh, problem, is the correct Laplace transform. So what is it that is that you know, we're doing here? Well, in essence, all we're doing is we are telling the HP calculator, just as we did with the uh, the Casio expressly what the the variables are. In other words, we the uh, the T in the uh, time domain and the S in the frequency or Laplace domain. We are explicitly telling the uh, HP prime that we want it to calculate the Laplace transform of the expression with respect to T and transform it into the S domain uh, or, or into the Laplace domain with explicitly with the variable S. So let me show you the, uh, the, the nice uh, comment that he gave as well as some additional uh, information about help and so on. And I'll let uh, any of you that want to look at that in the previous uh, video uh, go to that comment because uh, I found it very, very helpful, and I thank him very much. So that's why I'm, I'm adding this additional uh, video supplement, let's call it, to the previous video. Here is the comment to uh, my number 223 on the use of the three calculators for Laplace and uh, inverse Laplace. And the... Uh, Mohammed Al Ghalani, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly or at least coming close. I apologize if I'm getting it if I'm getting it all wrong, but uh, gave, uh, gave me uh, and I hope uh, the rest of you will be able to use this comment as well. If you go to that video, you'll find his comment uh, a very nice explanation of something that I myself, should have remembered because I actually used to do this on the HP 50G but that was a few years ago and I had quite frankly forgotten and so I was using the HP Prime and not realizing that you could still specify the variables. So I hope that uh, first I want to thank Mohammed for the uh, for the comment and the other information that he presented 
But I also want to use this as an opportunity to say to everyone who is viewing, please feel free to leave comments. These are exactly the kinds of comments that uh, please me at any rate because they add to the to the knowledge of the community. And so I appreciate Mohammed reminding me of this and I wanted to share it with everyone. So anyway, just a little follow up and hope that everyone uh, learns a little from this. I certainly did and uh, look forward to some more videos and as always, have a nice day.